Okay. Oh, hold on. Don't click away. Don't click away. I don't know where I'm going with this yet. Okay. This is this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about that time my images got stolen. So um, let's dive right in here. A couple of weeks ago, a company sent me an email uh, saying, "Hey guys, we need reviews for our products on Amazon. So what we're looking to do is get a handful of people on board." to um, receive one of her products uh, basically for free in exchange for a review on Amazon with either pictures or a video or whatever. Now, I was interested in this product anyways, um, and they were kind of looking for like a partnership over the next couple of you know weeks, months, or years to continue reviewing their products and getting them for free. So I thought, well, you know what? It might be worth a try. So I got in touch with them and I told them, hey guys, I'm a photographer and a filmmaker and I'm super interested in your product. Um, can I get a review sample? So they sent one over for, for about a dollar, I think it was. And I, I did what I said I would do. I immediately reviewed the product after giving it a thorough run through and I took some pictures outside of this product in action. Just real quick, nothing super fancy. Um, but enough to get the point across for the review. Uh, I also posted a couple of pictures on my Instagram, which is linked below, by the way, it's linked in the description, so ch check it out. But anyways, so what happened was that a couple of days later, I was checking Instagram and I checked out their Instagram and it turns out that one of my pictures that I took of their product ended up on their Instagram page cropped a little bit, no credit, no mention of my name, nothing. Just flat out used my picture for marketing purposes. Now you might say, David, it's only Instagram. Who cares? You should be happy that your photo got used and blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not happy about it. And I'll tell you why. It's because it's image theft and it completely devalues the work that we as photographers do. So I contacted them politely. I sent them a message on Instagram, I sent them an email, and after two days, nothing came back. No one responded. So I filed a uh, takedown request with Instagram, and within a couple of minutes, the picture was wiped off the internet, uh, which was great, but the sad part was that the company wasn't actually the one to take it offline. They just completely ignored my numerous messages. And a couple of days after that, they finally sent me an email saying, hey David, really sorry about that. Um, we thought we had permission to use your images um, and it was part of the agreement for the reviews that we can use images for marketing purposes. Now hold on, hold on. First of all, I didn't sign anything that says you can use my photos without permission for anything, especially marketing. And second of all, it didn't even have that in the fine print anywhere. There was no fine print. It was an email that said we need reviewers uh, to write the review and take pictures. Okay, I can take pictures and post them. That doesn't mean that you can use them for your marketing purposes. If you would like that, you can contact me. I will sell it to you at a fair price that is mutually beneficial. So after this happened, I went to my Amazon review and I changed my review from five stars to one star explaining why this company is a bad company because of their business practices. And a couple of days later I checked back and my review was just magically gone. So not only is this company farming five star reviews all over the place, they're somehow managing to delete anything that basically criticizes them in any way, even if it's completely fair. So. What's the takeaway here? The takeaway is that your images are very, very valuable. If they went through the trouble to save my picture and upload it and they thought it was good enough for their marketing material, that probably means that there was some value in this photo and that means they should have paid for it, which they didn't. So when you see one of your pictures anywhere on the internet, instead of being excited, you should be very, very careful about this because that's a terrible precedent, a very dangerous precedent. Um, because what these companies see is, oh, we can just take pictures for free off the internet. We don't even have to credit people, but they're just gonna be happy that their picture was used somewhere. That's not the way it works. 
Your work has value and it's very, very important to recognize that and to fight for that. And to fight back, there is a website, not a sponsor by the way, there is a website I recommend there called pixie.com. I'm gonna link it down below. The way it works is that you connect your online account, whatever it happens to be, whether it's your website or maybe a Flickr account or something like that. And what they do is they scan the web for copies of your work and then you can kind of figure out if people are stealing your work or if uh, you know someone's maybe reposting something in a blog or if it's landing somewhere in like advertisement banners and things like that so that's a really good way to crack down on people who are using your work it doesn't seem like a huge deal that they reposted my picture on instagram it really really is and it's really important to recognize that so that's it for my little rant today. I don't mean to just bash this company. Uh, I think the real important takeaway is that your work has value, whether that's photos or writing or music. Just be really careful and it's okay to be territorial about it. You don't have to be an asshole about it, but I think you have a right to decide where your work gets shown and under what circumstances it gets shown. So if anyone has ever stolen your work or used it somewhere else without permission, let me know in the comments and we'll see if we can get a discussion going there. And in the meantime, if you like this video, hit the like button down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.